So my 2010 version of my do-it-yourself bridge hammock have been showing up uh, on the forums. Uh, some others uh, I've made for, and they've made some pictures, and I've been getting some questions, so I thought I would answer some of those questions. Uh, the body right here, this black body, is made of 1.9 polyester uh, microfiber. Uh, picks up a little static, but it doesn't stretch very much, and that's very nice. I like that. The end caps are made of 1.0 Marpat camo, as you can see. Uh, I've got a way of cutting the end caps out of uh, rectangles with big darts, and so it's not perfectly elliptical. You can sort of see in the corner here, uh, but it makes it a lot easier to put together. And in another video, I'll show you exactly it is how I do that. Spreader bars, I've got 36 inches at this end, 24 inches at this end. These are poles that I get from Quest Outfitters. Uh, these poles right here come in 18 inch lengths. Uh, they are both uh, 0.625 diameter. This is a smaller diameter, 0.4 something. It comes in a 26 inch length, which I cut to 24 inches, and make customized end caps for that. Let's see, the end piece right here when I'm cutting the body is 54 inches at this end, and it's 46 inches at that end. Uh, what else is there to say? Well, we're going to see details of the suspension, and uh, we will also see details of a bug net here, a half-length bug net. So uh, let's grab the camera and have a look at the suspension. So this is the apex of the suspension triangle. Uh, on one side I have a short piece that comes up and is buried into the other piece. Right here where I make a locked brummel to start the berry, I put in a little loop of lashet, uh, which serves as, a, as an anchor then for uh, this, this ridge line that I've got. Um, moving up the way, what I've got is a whoopee sling. This one is uh, six feet long, I think. And uh, let's have a look at the very top because I've, uh, I've put in some things here to make life with whoopee swings, slings a little easier. So this orange loop is something that you put in the very end of the whoopee sling to keep it from collapsing in on itself, a good idea that's been floated on hammock forums. And what I have right here is a whipping knot made out of some lashet. So when I have the whoopee up by the peg, then I can slide that up there and it helps keep the whoopee from jumping off of the peg, which uh, has proven to me to be a problem sometimes when I'm first hanging my hammock. So at the very corner I've got tubular webbing. Uh, finished it off in a loop. Inside there I've got a little bit of vinyl tubing to protect the uh, webbing from the cord. And then the cord itself is a loop that's uh, finished off in a diamond knot and it's just passed up through that loop of the webbing and the vinyl inside and then back in on itself. So it makes a very nice attachment point and I can just clip on the suspension uh, using the soft shackle. And so now we can see the, uh, the end of the suspension. It's got a soft shackle. Just open that up a little bit and pop it over the diamond knot and tighten it up and I've got a connection. So I've got a half bug net on this and right now it's uh, tied up out of the way, rolled at the top. So we'll just take it apart now. So there are three tie outs. Just going to do these and we'll unroll it. The bug net is sewn in at the top to uh, create a bit of a seal at the top end. So it's sewn in like this. But to, to fasten the corners, to seal it here and here, what I do is I have a little bit of uh, elastic with a hook at the end. Bring that around and to the back. And here on this side I have something, a corresponding loop. And so just connect it. And uh, that's going to create a bit of a seal right here and here. As I unroll this now, we'll better look and see what's inside. The bug net is cut as a bit of a trapezoid from this corner to about this point right here. Uh, and it starts, of course, at 36 inches here. It comes down to here, it's about 25 inches. And then after that, it's just an extension of another foot of 25 inches. I've got attachment points right here. So this is at the four foot from the head mark and also here, which is at the two foot in the head mark. What we've got is some elastic that goes down under the hammock and then with the, uh, with the minute hook clips and clips here. And that turns out to be enough to hold the whole thing. I also have a little bit of elastic here and a minute hook uh, to pull this up uh, over one's head. So here we go, let's hop in. First thing I'm going to do is lift this one. Space for my head. Side. Off the shoes. 
Now I can make this attachment first of all. And uh, once done, that can pretty much stay. And when I get in and out, it's the other one that I need to work with. hook it. And one of the pieces of this design is that this bottom uh, stretchy bit um, really hooks underneath of uh, my buttocks and so it's not going to go sliding up. And so as you can see I've got you know a fair amount of room just around my head and a pretty good seal and an excellent seal going on to the sides and then this bit flaps over on my legs and I'll just have a quilt or something there that will fill in that gap. Right.